Hello and welcome to Dragon's Den. Over the last seven weeks, the Dragons have met 28 extraordinary entrepreneurs. The final four businesses in this series are no exception. First to enter the den are two festival-going friends who believe their invention makes perfect fashion sense. But will it make perfect financial sense to the Dragons? Wally Wetsuit was born from being at festivals and getting our clothes ruined and getting the cold and had nothing that offered head-to-toe waterproof protection. When when people say that they go, why is that not out there? But uh, that's the most frustrating part because we'll have such a good concept, we'll have the name, we'll have the brand, and you're getting people ringing you and you're constantly saying, bear with us, bear with us, bear with us. And yeah, and initially it was hard to believe that there wasn't anything like that because there's waterproof trousers, there's coats, umbrellas, but there wasn't an all-in-one waterproof suit, which we think it'll just, it covers explode. the bases for everything. It'll explode onto the market. Watch. Wow. Welly wetsuit. Is this for real? Who are you going to be looking at? Um, I think Chanel or Gavin's going to be our best right, just because she yeah. is in the fashion industry and Gavin seems to really take on board the concept, so... Mm -hmm. Hopefully really he runs with that, because we've no sales, so... Now, you will get people that are watching this going, what is this? But the majority of people do absolutely love it and are just delighted with it. Hi, Dragons. My name's Alex. And I'm Nadine. And we are Welly Wetsuit Limited. We believe that there's no such thing as bad weather, just inappropriate clothing. And we're here today with our product, the Welly Wetsuit. Our concept was initially born from our experiences at festivals, where most of the time our weekend of a lifetime was turned into a weekend of hell. And that was due to um, torrential rain, waterlogged tents, belongings getting damaged, and usually just having to pay more attention to keeping yourself dry rather than enjoying yourself. And in partnership with our local college, Belfast Met, we designed and developed an all-in-one waterproof transparent suit. The suit is very practical, but also for all those fashionistas out there who love to show their outfits, which we all know they plan months in advance, can stay dry from the weather whilst also showing their outfits. Is there a market for this product? Absolutely. Every one in three days in the UK and Ireland is a rainy day. And with 400 million people planning to attend festivals this year, we feel that our product fits the, the purpose for that. With um, an average spend per person at these festivals, they spend 450 euro per event, with 100 euro even before they even go on festival items. We are pricing our product at 30 euro, and it, we feel that it is the perfect price point. Now, we have no sales to date, but we have attracted a lot of media attention. We've been featured on BBC's um, Entrepreneurial Innovation Programme. We've been featured in all the papers in the north of Ireland, and we have a great social media following with queries every day from around the world in Canada, Santander and Spain, wanting samples and just wanting the product because they love it. Now, we are here today to ask for 45,000 euro of investment for a 30% stake in the company. Okay, I've got a challenge for one of okay, you. Okay, yeah. Somebody's got to prove that a person can fit inside that tent. <laughs> well, we Cause... can't do that. We're not magicians. <laughs> That's just for show. It's a prop. <laughs> All right, okay. I thought you actually expected people to get into this tent. No. Well, I'm glad we cleared that up for the viewers <laughs> because there'd be an awful lot of depressed people out there if they thought, how am I going to get... I have to lose two stone as well no, to get into the tent. You'd have to squash yourself My in. bag going to festivals like twice the size of that, so I, I don't think I would live on it either. All right, okay. So is it a poncho? No, it's expanded rubber. It's called EVA. So, so it's, it's a rubber outfit. It's a rubber. We had PVC. PVC, it sounded like you were getting in and out of a packet of crisps for once. Well, I think we need to put it on Chanel. You have to try before you buy, you know. Yes. Dared by Eleanor, Chanel attempts to get into the world's first ever welly wetsuit. Nobody can say I don't get involved. Absolutely, yes, exactly. Chanel. Here we go. Right. <laughs> if you could get her to wear that at Cheltenham. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite comfortable, actually. Alex and Nadine, do you see it selling to women or to men? Both. Right. Definitely, um, both. Definitely both. Have you put a guy in one of these? Yes. yes. For you guys, we actually um, know a few cyclists as well, and he, he does cycling. He said it would be great for that. Yeah, a guy would sort of like to sort of strip off, but wear that over so yeah. he could show off his, 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 uh, his, his abs, you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. can see that, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But listen, ladies, I have to ask the question, if, if it's all about the outfit, how could you be seen in that? If you look at any of the festivals, people yeah. are wearing like those pink plastic bag ponchos. 
there are Which ones. are equally ugly as this. Yeah, well, I, we don't think it's ugly at all. We think it's trendy, it's a statement. There's a transparent trend mm -hmm. all through the high streets at the minute. Kim Kardashian's wearing thigh um, perspective at the minute. Yeah, we've already spoke to someone from in-house market um, of Florida and they said they think it would be massive in Disneyland, things like that, because you could put print on it. You could and, you brand know, it. For children, people go mad. Parents want them to have all the latest. I'm struggling on the, the visual, I have to say. Um, okay. I just can't see myself. Well, I'm, clearly, I'm not your target market. I'm not going to fest festivals, but after spending all that money on gorgeous clothes to wear a plastic Mac over, it just seems to be missing the point. But anyway, you mentioned something else that might be interesting. The kids market. Yeah. We just think mums take their kids everywhere with them. So we thought this is a great product, whether you're taking them on a day out, even to the beach walks with dog, the dog, taking them on holiday. And also pets as well, whenever, you know, dogs are always getting dirty and rolling around and everyone just loves to have their pets nice and warm and comfy as well. So we do think it is a, a product for the whole family. Okay. So Alex and Nadine, you said you haven't had any sales yet. No. Nope. What makes you confident that you can sell any? Have you done any pre-sales or talking to festival organisers? Yeah, we've been in discussions with the local festivals in the, in the north of Ireland and we've been in touch with Electric Picnic and things. We just don't have the, the, the suits to sell at the minute. We just don't have the capital behind it, but they said that they would let us have a, a vendor and a stall there, you know, to see that as a product. What I'm trying to get at here is... Yeah. You know, are you salespeople? Do you have the kind of that drive to go Most yourself definitely. and yes, sales? I, I, I sell on it every day in my job. And you're both well able to talk? Yes, can't they? Try and especially stop if us. you're passionate and proud of your product. Could you really see, like, Pippa O'Connor or Talia Heffernan doing an Instagram post wearing one of these? 100%. That's what we think as well. If you're at that festival, someone just needs to be like photographed in it and then the paper and then it'll be massive. Well, you have Chanel now on Chanel's TV. Chanel's in it, yeah. so we'll have to get that photograph and put it on our social media. <laughs> Chanel loves the Welly Wetsy. <laughs> Chanel-y Welly. Um, Chanel-y Chanel Welly, absolutely. <laughs> that could go. Um, girls, I, I do think it's a great product. You know, I, I live in England and there is such a festival culture there. You know, there's so many people that we meet that comes through our boutique. They're on their way to Glastonbury mm -hmm. or, you know, that, that there is a big following for, yeah. you know, for festivals. I mean, you said 400 million. Yeah, I, I like it. Sorry, I, I, just, just the important question I want to get to here for a second. Is I, how much does this cost and what's going to be the cost of getting out there and selling it? We've negotiated down to if we, if 3,000 seats would be 12 euro, 12 euro per seat. We'll be selling that for 30 euro. Okay. With mixed opinions on the design, Eleanor moves on to the safety of this onesie. Have you had it checked out? Mm. God forbid somebody comes in contact with a lighter or something and it went on fire. No, that's the part of the money that we need for, for the investment well, that's here. That's critical. Yeah, yeah. That, that's very important. That's because that issue. would be incredibly dangerous, yeah. particularly yeah. since it's a onesie because you couldn't... Yeah. Get out of it very material quickly. she already uses for her product, she, but we will double product, check. Yeah, we were hoping with the budget from the investment from this, we can get all that checked and things. So, okay. What's exciting and frightening about this is this will either be huge or it'll flop. Yeah. It flies or dies at a festival, you know. If it goes, everybody will have one. Yeah. If it doesn't, uh, one of us will have a large debt. You need to get Kate Moss, Kate Moss in Glastonbury in one of these. Yeah, I, I say as well. If a celebrity spotted in one, you know, it just takes off crazy. You've just mentioned the, the words that I've been thinking of really. Is this a craze or is this a business? I think it could start off as a craze because it's only a new brand. But then, as we said, it is an everyday product. Yeah. It's a craze in terms of festivals and events. But as we say, everyone can pop them on for going a walk, going to the yeah. park. Do, everyday chores, you can and, do it when the um, bad weather. I, I think, you know, it's mad enough it could work. Yeah. <laughs> Girls, I love your energy. I think your ability to sell is unquestioned, but I just can't get my head around the product. Uh, you either get it or you don't. Yeah, and I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, okay. no problem. Okay. But for that reason, I'm out. No worries. Oh, thank yeah. you. Alex, Nadine, this is an idea. It might be a good idea, but it's not a business. I'm out.
Okay, thank you. Girls, I never thought I'd get excited about a see-through plastic suit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a drink today and forget about it, did I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually worried about myself. <laughs> What's the percentage, girls? 30%. The potential of it melting still worries me. But you're actually, literally, at the light bulb moment stage. It's an idea. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderfully uh, mad idea. But I have to say, I never thought I was going to be in the see-through onesie business. So I'm going to say I'm out. Okay, I think you're great girls, I really do. And I have a funny feeling it's not the first thing you're going to do. But when I sit back and think with sanity, uh, as Gavin said earlier, this is a flyer or a dyer, and I think it's a, a call too close for me. So I'm sorry to say, girls, I'm out. Okay, no problem. Chanel may have tried on the welly wetsuit, but is investment in this fashion idea the right fit for her? Girls, 45,000 euros is a lot for me to go on this. I think it's going to take a while to get a return on investment. Um, so for that reason, I'm out. Okay, no Thank problem. You. Thank you. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Yeah. We'll hopefully just go and try and tweak it and maybe this year we'll get down to the festivals, see how they sell on the stalls and get more feedback. And then mm -hmm. from there, then we can have more projections for how we do think it actually yeah. will do on a bigger scale. Yeah. Because at the minute, we do think that the stock that we will have at a festival will, we're hoping to sell out. Yeah. <laughs> it's not an investment, it's a gamble. It's a crave. I definitely would have gone if I could get another dragon to have gone with me. <laughs>